Test, test, test. Test, test. Sounds like we are good. So, hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Soul Rack Dragon, here back with more Pokemon Violet. It's been about a week or so, I want to say. It's been a little bit since we last streamed. And, uh, yeah, we will be picking up things roughly from where we left off, if I can remember where that is exactly, because it's been a while since we last did Pokemon. So, uh, yeah. Just claim that stuff. And then, trying to remember all my button prompts. There we go. Alright, where am I? I am here, Northern Province Area 1. Okay. I did take down the Team Star member that was over here. Right, okay. Me memories are flowing back into my brain space. I'm not gonna... This is not This is gonna be a shorter one, so I'm not gonna go through every single terror raid here. I'm probably gonna... I need to start doing that in my off time, to be honest, but, um... Okay. So, yeah, we took down fighting crew, Team Star person, and I don't know why I came back to Northern Province Area 1 exactly, but we did. Meh. Is what it is, I guess. Uh, I think that pretty much covers what happened since last time. So, I think with that... We can fly to Montanovu and start making our way towards the ferry crew, or Tega, here it looks like, is the head of the ferry crew, and then continue our journey around Paldia. Um, I'm not too concerned about catching Mons, like I said today, it's probably going to be a shorter one as far as streams go. I don't think I unlocked any new classes. Um, let me, you know, I'm going to really quickly... Or maybe not so quickly. It kind of depends. Um, I want to see if we can't find, like, how spread out the Frost Moth encounters are. I know I can't do them simply for the fact that um, the Mons over on that part of the mountain are very much beyond me as far as levels go. Hey, we got the Glaciato. Oop. I kind of skipped through that a little bit fast. It's a TM that I just got, <laughs> but I kind of clicked a little fast there, so I don't know what exactly the TM was. So let's check that real quick. As well as anything else I had that was new. Is that a Terra Shard? Yeah, it looks like it was a Bug Terra Shard, and apparently a Dark Terra Shard. And a Bottle Cap! Oh, I didn't realize... I completely didn't realize I had gotten a Bottle Cap. Okay. Um... And what was that new TM I just got? It's not the fighting TM. It might have been Zen Headbutt. Might have been. Could have been Seed Bomb as well. Again, I kind of fast clicked through all that. Maybe Rock Slide. Possibly even Dragon Dance. Good lord, there's so many TMs it could have been. All I know is it was probably not a fighting TM since... That would be what we just got from the gym or from the um, Team Star member. Okay, I have no idea what it was I just earned, so. Oh well. Um, can I mark off whatever it is I just got here? Hello? Indeedy fur? No? What else did I get? Also, how close am I to the um, one things? The. That I need like 9.99 of. Give me ghoul coins. How close am I? I wonder. Tiny scales, scyther claw. It's gonna be. It's gonna be near the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, I'm four. I'm at 4.51. Not bad. Not bad. Um, and there's that. Okay. So, if memory serves, I don't have any new mons in the backs that need to be trained up just yet. These two I have not found their base forms for, so that is why they are still there. In the wild, at least. But let's go and see if we can't get lucky and find a shiny frost moth right off the bat. 
I am very much doubtful that I am going to be that lucky, but you never know sometimes. At least I also know I don't need to fight any more trainers on the mountain here. So that's nice. Uh, it's going to be a lot of slippy and sliding, isn't it? Okay, I think I've gotten over there before. I think it was from up by the gym, so I shouldn't have come down, should I have? Probably not. So let's go back up again. And yeah, this is looking a lot more traversable. Ghastly and Haunter. Cub Chew. Jump over. There we go. Clear! Maybe. As long as I don't fall down the mountain again. Come on, I just want to... It's been too long, I don't remember how I got over to the other side of this mountain. Do I still have to keep going? Yeah, okay, yeah, there we go, there we go, here's... Here's some climbable terrain. There we go. So, can we get a Lucky Frost Moth? Very first glimpse, very doubtful, but... Doesn't mean we won't try. As Mariden is just slowly drifting down the sandbank here. There we go. And there we go. Clear. So, let's make our way and see what we can find today. I feel like I have gotten most of the species of Pokemon that are out there anyways, so... Snowball, single-use, boost attack, if damaged by an ice move. Interesting. I have a Krabala, right? Yeah. Sometimes, just don't know what I got. Super pot. Super pot. How close am I? A little bit more northeastern here. Or northwestern here, it looks like. There's a little f ice dragon. So around here is where the frost moth outbreak is. It doesn't look like it's too spread out, if nothing else, so that's good. But I'm not seeing any obvious signs of a shiny frost moth amongst these. So I will simply leave them be. And wallow in despair at my lack of a shiny still in this game that is supposed to have so many extra shinies. All because they don't want to put in a sing... <coughs> Simple sound effect. That's what I'm blaming. Lack of a sound effect indicator that there's a shiny. Okay. Um. I think that's... I caught a Halucha, right? Yeah, I've caught a Halucha. I'll check what this might be. Indeedy. Not terribly concerned about it. Um... I didn't realize I could travel on that rocky bit there. I feel like I'm going to eventually get the ability to climb all these rocks, so that will be nice. Oh. Tried to avoid this axiom. So I've already got... Alright. I think that's pretty much all the... Excuse me. Off-roading I had meant to do. So let's try and get these couple items right quick and then fly to Montenoro or Montenovo or wherever it was called again and make our way to the fairy Team Star member. 
Bye, score villain. Bye, score villain. Just mainly coming down here to make sure I didn't miss anything, and it doesn't look like I did. So. <coughs> What is that? It's Cloister, okay. I was I was lost there briefly. Okay. So we want to set off from here. Fly. Delicious H2O. Alright, so it was sort of on uh, this direction. Ow. This is the direction we need to go. I don't really need to fight any more trainers on the mountain either, so... That's lucky me. Oh. Forgot about the little doggos that are wandering around here, the Grievards. Sorry for disturbing your rest, Grievard. Oh, so sorry. There are lots of them, though. That Grievard's gonna be another one that it's gonna be hard to shiny hunt, I feel. Especially if it's mostly concealed under the snow. Unless it's got just, like, a dramatic color shift for its shiny form. Which I really don't know. I mean, look at all of them, though. They There definitely is a lot of them, if nothing else. So you'll get plenty of good doggos. Having a team of good doggos is not that hard. Okay, so this is at one, one point where we had left off a stream. Because my controller died. Hopefully that's not going to happen this time. Um, I kind of want to hit the center up first, and then we can sort of explore down there. Just cruising along the icy terrain. Man, it would be nice to have, you know, any kind of ride Pokemon for this kind of terrain, because walking around in snow, especially on a mountain... I cannot imagine a fun time. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of people who do find it fun and enjoyable, but I will say this much. I am not one of them. I am most certainly not one of them. Is... Did you always look like that? I'm, I'm just checking here. Okay. It, it must be fine. I could have swore it looked differently. But the saucebuck line is one that I'm not, I will admit to not being terribly familiar with, so, yeah. Watch a little Grievards. Golduck, Magikarp. Delibird. Oh, hello. Okay, that wasn't even close to me. That made no sense. I was a mile away from that Grievard. No shot. No sense. Senseless. Sensical. Insert other word that means nonsense here. Alright, oh! That time I just wasn't paying attention. Alright, at least we are nearly at the center. So that'll be one checkpoint down. Hello. Uh, I'm good. I just need to register this place on my map. It does not look like there's a league rep around here. Whoop, wrong button. No league rep is around here. So let's start heading north out of here. I kind of doubt I'm going to be able to reach the... False Dragon Titan, because it is literally in the middle of a lake, but we'll give it a shot. Otherwise, we'll head up here to the ferry and then sort of loop around to see what we can all find over there. Because that area is 
suspiciously empty of stuff, you know? So I'm sus. Of it. Very, very sus of it. May as well see what this terror raid is all about since we are over here. And what do we got? Ice Axew. Interesting. Not really my speed, though. So this will get us closer. Yeah, it sort of looks like Ortega here has this little valley under his control. Yeah, I can even see the star camp down there. And it does look like that's going to be where North Province Area 3 really begins. So, we'll leave this scientist person by themselves. They can gather data in whatever way they so see fit, as long as it does not include me. Steal Lechonk. That would be adorable, but I don't really want to see a Lechonk with an axe in its head at the same time. So, full heal. That's something we might be able to jump to. Woo! I very nearly did not make that jump. Two coins. Anything else? Anything at all? I was kind of expecting there to be something at this little mini ruins, but I guess not. I mean, a rare candy is always nice, but. There we go. No! I drifted too far and too hard. Sorry for almost drowning you there, Maraiden. Didn't mean it. Honest. Gosh, this whole mountain seems like there's got to be stuff to find, just through pure exploration. Definitely one of the most expansive areas I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. They went full Skyrim with how big this mountain is. The Dark Terror Raid, what do we got? Dark Venonat, not interested. Uh, Rando Trainer. And an Ultra Ball. Alright. Down we go. To the center where I belong. And out of this snow. Right, so this must be North, this is North Province Area 3. How many trainers do I have to beat here? Only four, so there isn't that many. Good to know. Uh, let's register. I'm good. Okay, and then let us see. Who do I want to start training? I think Oral needs to be in the lead as far as training goes, since she is the lowest of the bunch as far as level currently goes. She can handle, probably, I'm hoping, that some of the trainers around here. I'm pretty sure I've caught a Hapini, so I don't need to worry about Chansey here, but Chansey are always good experience, so... May as well. See? Good experience. Oh. And we apparently want her close enough to trigger... Clive! I mean, Director Clavel. Soul. Operation Starfall was going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Soul. What do you think of Cassiopeia? 
Um, they're a bag of riddles. <laughs> Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment toward Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? What could it be indeed? Well, I best we get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base. Okay. How far in did you jump me, Clavel? A bunch of Flabebe and Florgus. Flabebe, it's always a tough one to determine if it's a shiny or not. So I'm not going to even try. There could have been a shiny Flabebe amongst them, but I would not know. Alright. You. Hello. Such people need to be marred by ugly piles of junk. I can't stand it. Oh, uh, he's talking about the Team Starbase. She. Desiree. I don't think I've encountered an artist class trainer before. Ah, uh, Dragon Claw. I forget if this thing is dark type yet. I'm pretty sure at this level she is. Also, holy lag a moly. Um I need to switch to Tesla here. Oral's taking a beat down. That's a little bit better. Poison jab. That's a cry, by the way. Sorry, sorry, I guess I shouldn't have taken out my frustration on you. Uh, yep. Hello, spam. Goodbye, spam. Money! Let's go back up here, because we need to heal. Already. Because Oral nearly got got by f the thing. But that doesn't mean... Whoop, did not mean to click you. So Oral's actually not going to be that useful up against the fairy Team Star member, since they are fairy typing. It'll probably be Tesla Surter. And maybe Lodgy as the main people being used during that fight. But we keep exploring first because there's still more trainers to find and yeah. This is a very odd little flowery valley behind a mountain. Of ice, you know. I'm just saying. It's very odd that such a thing exists. I don't think that that's how um, climate works. Team Star, hello. Came here to join Team Star. Uh, you you kind of probably need to be a student first, uh, Jordy. Just saying. Larvesta. Uh... Ice Fang should be fine. Good gracious, Oral. Can you tank a hit? <laughs> like, goodness gracious. Um. Surter. Torch song it. <coughs> uh, electric. We're in set mode, so.
Also, I was about to say Surtur disappeared there, but he's fine. Surtur is fine. Uh, just Torch Song again. Can't even defeat a regular old student. Will I even make the cut for Team Star? Probably not, dude. Probably not. I could train up Oral on all these um, hop-ups up here if I really felt the need, but I don't. It's Chansey, though. More than happy to fight. Uh, just keep our eyes open for anything unique. That might be shiny. Because I would really like to see one. Uh, Shinx. Fire Terra Shinx. Interesting, but not really too big of a concern. Lots more low kicks, as well as the palmy line. What else do we got? If I don't fall, at least. Carbos. Um, I kind of don't think I'm going to be able to get too much higher as far as hopping goes. Yeah, this is definitely too high for me. Okay. Turn back. I'm glad I can at least get out of here. Makuhira and Hariyama... And, yeah, just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Hey, Velvet. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. I'll be things, I'll be things. Oh, no, don't slide down. Don't slide down. Don't. Maraiden. Maraiden. There you go, Maraiden. Still sick with COVID? Oof. Well, it has only been a couple of days, so sadly that's not too surprising, but I do hope that you start feeling better soon, Velvet. I've had it. It is not fun. Nope. No can do. No can do. I have a strict nothing. I have a very strict policy where I cannot do that sort of thing. Nope. Cannot do that, unfortunately, for you. Or rather, fortunately. Ooh! Have I caught a female combi yet? Um, it would be in one of these boxes. Do I have a female combi? Do I have any combi? I do not have a combi. Okay. So, hop off our ride here. And then... There's a female. We'll go... Oh gosh, these things are strong. Um... Netball. That ball will work. Mm. Ow. There we go. Female combi obtained. I could catch another combi, but... I'm not too concerned about doing the living decks just now. I think that's definitely going to be something I do in my own time. Combi, the tiny bee Pokemon. The trio is together from birth. It consistently gathers nectar from flowers to please Vespa Queen. Okay, I'll worry about the living decks in my own time. I mean, I'll catch anything that I run into, but beyond the captures, I'm not going to worry too much. Okay. 
So we're by the beach, by this Team Star base. Look at the vending machine. I bet I could sneak in and, you know, grab a quick snack, but... Uh, Ice Q. And Encore. Have I captured Ice Q yet? No, I have not. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Um, this is the penultimate Team Star base, from what I've been told. After this, it'll be... Seeing if I can get to the False Dragon Titan without the ability to surf. If I can, awesome. If I can't, then it'll be off to get my... Either 5th or 6th badge in the normal type. Ice Q, the penguin Pokemon. If you lick the ice covering its face, you'll find it has a faintly salty taste. This species rode here on the ocean currents from a cold, faraway land. Oh, they're hinting at another region there, cold, faraway land. Okay, so there's a region that is very cold and very far away. Good to know. Well, trio... Kilowattrel. I forgot if it was Watchroll or Kilowattrel, but it's Watchroll. Um, I feel like these Watchroll are much bigger than my Watchroll, I will say. Pinchurchin. Rip, yeah, I'm... I did not get to do the Charizard raids myself either, but, you know, I'm sure they'll come back. I'm sure the Charizard raids will come back eventually. I came here for a picnic with my girlfriend. I'm so nervous. Help me calm my nerves. Sure thing, dude. Stefan. Sure thing. A Grim Snarl. This is a bad matchup for me. I I'm just going to switch here, Stefan. Y you're fine with this, right, Stefan? Y your girlfriend would be happy if you let um, some your opponent switch their Pokemon when it's very clearly a a bad, um, tight matchup. Okay, um... Just Iron Head. Nice slide done, Tesla. <coughs> Be cool if it was a tribute to Robbie Rotten's actor. I'm so I'm still so nervous. This was a big step. Is the picnic too much too fast? Dude, I didn't have any experience in the matter. But from what I understand, picnics are a very good easy date. You probably don't want to just be clapping randomly when she gets here though. Just saying. Oh yeah, um I honestly only know him because of his meme status, to be honest here. I only know of Robbie Rotten due to his status as a meme and the fact that he passed. But he seemed like a fairly cool guy. Can I go in this? I can. Gabite Steel Beam. Anything else? No. I was about to say, is that a freaking shiny ice cube? But I think that's just the lighting. Please tell me that is just the lighting that makes that ice cube look shiny, and it's not a shiny ice cube. Because if that's a shiny ice cube, I will be a little bit freaking out here. Okay, yeah, it's just the lighting. Whew! Saw that we are number one recreation before he died. That's what he was most known for, wasn't it? Well, I mean, as far as the meme status goes, but it was, um, was it cancer with him? I honestly cannot recall if he was the one that passed through cancer or if it was, uh, something else. It was? Okay. Yeah. It's a shitty hand, you know. 
I probably shouldn't say that kind of language on a Pokemon stream. It's a bad hand that a lot of people get dealt, sadly. Cancer sucks. I think is the best way to put it. My boyfriend and I came here for a picnic, but I guess I got some free time to battle you. Hey, uh, I, I just saw your boyfriend back there a little ways. Jimena. Jimena, however you pronounce your name. He seemed fairly nervous for your date, so, you know. Um, I, I hope you two have a good date. Just, um, go easy. Um, do I swing again? By the way, how has your shiny luck been in the game, Velvet? How hath your shiny luck been? I still have yet to find a single one. Mm. Family curse, huh? That's not good. Well, I believe overcome the curse. You can overcome the curse. Curses are meant to be overcome, in fact. Shiny Venomoth. I, I want any kind of shiny, to be completely honest. I would be perfectly fine with any kind of shiny at this point. Perfectly fine with any kind of shiny. Acid armor. Um, that's a defensive move. Is it just spec defense or is it it's just defense? Um Honestly, I think you're fine. You've unlocked shiny sandwiches, you just need Urban Mystica. Nice! Shiny shinies, they're so fun. I can't wait to unlock them so I can do some have some fun as well. If I don't just, you know, decide to try and brute force a shiny. Because I really would like to try and get a shiny Ponyard here. Psyduck. Wasn't there supposed to be a massive mass around here? It's further in the water. Can't go further out enough into the water to see what the massive mass was. Sadness. Tears. I cry. Every. Time. Uh, hop it. Some flora. This is Sylveon. I've not encountered Sylveon, but I'm not necessarily wanting to try that Sylveon. Nor am I too concerned about Florgus. I'm pretty sure I bought the four trainers in Northern Province Area 3. A Lonely Mint is interesting. Can't get over there. Water's too deep. But I guess it's good to know that Sylveon can be a massive mass. Or Sylveon is a guaranteed terraform if I ever just, you know, don't want to try and evolve an Eevee to a Sylveon. Chansey. Secretary randomly out here that wants a new job. You're, if you're looking for a new job, this is probably not the best place to be job hunting, I'm just saying. Just saying, you, you probably want to be in a city if you want to be hunting a new job down. That is what common sense would dictate. But then again, this is the Pokemon world, and common sense isn't always the best way to think of things, so... Right, 
Let us see. What we get? Slow clicks this time. Leaf storm. Okay. Let's heal up, and then we need to think of how we're gonna take on Ortega, I believe is his name. <sighs> I think Tesla and Surtur should probably be numbers one and two, respectively. But beyond them... I still have no idea how to evolve Tumby yet, either. What level do you evolve at, Tumby? What level doth thou evolve? Hmm. We'll give the Calanthite. <laughs> we'll give Calanthite here a chance as well. <laughs> good gracious, a good hiccups, it seems. Oh no, that's another walking evolution? Oh, they. That is so annoying. I don't. I honestly do not care for the walking evolutions. Those are tedious as heck. I will return later when it's time for a young master's piano lesson. A young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Yes, Mr. Harrington. Mr. Harrington! Mr. Harrington, you, you've lost your bunny ears. And your petticoat. And your whole bunny shape. Man, Mr. Harrington's really let himself go as the years have gone by. Hmm? And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps. Not sure. Ah, I see. Since you're unaware, I must inform you this is the base of Team Star's Fairy Crew, the Rukba Squad, led by young Master Ortega. Um, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours. You know, I think he might be here to try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of the young master. I guess that does follow. Is that so? Well, then that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Mm -hmm. Would you be so kind to indulge me in a quick battle? Sure! Splendid. Let us begin. If he does not have at least one rabbit Pokemon, I am going to be disappointed in you, Mr. Harrington. I am somewhat disappointed in Mr. Harrington here so far. Indeed, funny bunny indeed. Fosters was always a good Fosters was a good show that had a good laugh. Had the occasional serious moments as well. I remember it fondly. Hatterim. Uh I'll keep my current mon out, because I'm in set mode. You know, come to think of I don't think I've even seen Hatini yet. Mr. Harrington has been defeated. Well, well. <laughs> you got, yeah, that was an interesting episode. But I mean, the whole show was good. At, it was great as a premise because it was. It's just also always nice to think of what would you have as an imaginary friend if you could make one. The world would probably be in chaos. Let's be honest. An outstanding performance. However, beware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far as passes my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me, Asta Lovey Star. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy. I think. 
At least that's what I heard. Oh, really? The former Academy director, huh? Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hey, on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta go let everyone know. Ah, so lovey star. Okay, I like that actually the clothing seems to have some water texture to it. I should probably change in, out of my winter clothing. I see this guard has been dealt with. Good job. Not really. That base belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Rook Boss Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him and things will go south real quick. He's also a real lead from the back type. He would tell his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough out it to roll till Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell the gates once you're ready to kick off the pr this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Rook Boss Squad off the map. You know, I, I feel like wiping teams off the map would be a lot easier if you gave me some heavier ordnance, Cassiopeia. Just saying. Heavy ordnance. Heavy ordnance will be an excellent way to wipe people off the map. Is it very very appropriate for the Pokemon world? Probably not. Not unless you're an evil team as well. Looking at you, Team Plasma. Be go red, go red. Operation Starfall alerts. Everyone get into position and defend the boss with all you've got. Our assured intruder will deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon within 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. I kind of wish these had a little bit of mixing up to them as well, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a very creative idea, but it could definitely do with a little bit of, um... Could definitely do with a little bit of extra. I do think it could do with a little bit extra, you know, something. I'm not sure what that extra something would be, but a little bit of extra something is all that this is really missing to be a really good, fleshed out, and interesting mechanic. Getting all the experience from all these KOs, for one, would be something that would definitely, you know, make it cooler. J just say in game. You, you could be giving me the experience for all this, but... And it seems like I've chosen a pretty solid squad here. To deal with all these people. Also, is it just me, or is there, like, some serious case of lag here? It might just be me, but I feel like I'm lagging to a very high degree. Our boss's defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss. Our defenses are reached. It's all up to the boss now. The hmm. So you're a soul. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little bit more beefed up. 
Yeah, it was laggy for you too. So when you yeah, true, it is a very lag-intensive process, that. Well, whatever, I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. No, fairy types are terrifying. Ha have you If you have a Hatterene or a uh, Tinkaton, then you'll know that fairy types are terrifying, Ortega. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this bat sends you blubbering back home. Level 50. Okay, let's shift gear. We already outspeed, but the attack boost will be nice. How do we handle this attack? We dodge. Okay. Um, let's poison jab. Let's see how we do plus one. Good. Dash bun. Keep the current mon. I gotta say, I do like the Team Star beat. Baby it all eyes. It's probably gonna keep doing that. So let's regain our plus one. And then just take it down. Iron Head. Wigglytuff. Who is? The, do they have a composer on their team? You know, that's something I don't think that they've had so far. Is somebody that composed their um, little theme song. Or if they have, I just haven't paid attention to it. Have there been mention of a composer? Oopsie, did you just realize how unmatched you are? If you want to give up, now's the time. Okay, Ortega, you, you can think that. They do. Okay, I just must have not been paying attention to whoever their composer was. Or it's the last person that I have not yet encountered yet. That's also a very real possibility. River Room. Alright, Tesla. Um, this is the penultimate one. I've done Fire. I did, um, Fighting. This is fairy. Uh, fire and fighting have been done. This is the fairy base. And I did poison. Yeah, those are the bases I've done. Fairy, fire, poison, and fighting. Uh, speaking of poison. Gotcha. Alright. Let's get into a car crash. Here. Is my car tougher than yours? My car is tougher than yours, Ortega. He's a little angry. Ugh, how could I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. What the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you it's not a toy. It's called a Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem is clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two char cadet, but it's just too heavy. It's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow, tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such remarkable contraption by thine own hand. Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all the effort would have 
zero payout, but I've just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mella, cool it, will you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put on the put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team when we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to finish our fix our problems with for us. Or did you forget? The hunk of junk doesn't move. Get it moving. For short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. It doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm gonna trade up my Char Cadet and have him evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Okay. Oh, I'll get it done. The thing is, is I don't think you did get it done with the Char Cadets. Just, just saying. I, I don't think we've actually seen them powered by Char Cadets. Unless that, unless, is that supposed to be a mistranslation error? Are they saying Char Cadets with their meaning to be, um, Reverum and the Pre-Evolution, I wonder? Melly, wait. You know, Mella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. Ah, this sucks. I do wonder if they meant the Pre-Evolution line of Reverum. This sucks, I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome we were in that battle. If any one of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we gotta step down. And going against star code would make me a traitor to the team. Ah, fine. Not like I have any choice anyway, so take the badge already. You better treat with the respect it deserves. No problem, Ortega. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite team too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam. That is actually a pretty good TM. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like, the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. He just appeared out of thin air. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. Guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good at home. Oh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. Name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company, so why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. Okay. So the Academy really did have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't go to the Academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the Academy, I believe I'm the best position to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. Con an, an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetuated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should not imagine. I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all the records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over the best way to deal with a team star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. This student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Hmm? No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. I then assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad. This was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region. The Galar region. Mmm, interesting. Under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director turned upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy's servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. After we, he, we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. 
The inability for myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also presented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handling in handing in their notices. Good gracious, you don't... You want a school to shut down? Because that's how you get a school to shut down if the whole teaching staff just quits. So that's why the current teachers are all brought in half a year, a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hey, Mr. Harrington, how come you decided to suddenly talk about this now? Like Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I really wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. No, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. After, not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Aww. Ro -do -do -do. Soul, it's me. Hi, me. I'm waiting for Cassiopeia to call me. I take it Ortega handed over his star patch to you then. Indeed. I see. Well, this boss no longer around the route. Chibok squad is as good as finished. Or even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The opposition has been a huge... This operation has been a huge success thanks to you, Sol. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. Remember I'm saying you were acquaintances. Have you known each other long? No, not at all. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. What gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were bullied at school. Shortly after forming, the students, none other than the squad boss and themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from the battle the first chance they got. Scared spiteless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another. And Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. How about your reward? I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Thank you. More TMs. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along shortly to give you your bonus reward. Hmm. Your gang that she ro you rolled with Cassiopeia in the day. I wonder who your gang used to be. Hmm. Here I am. Stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Well, he likes you, Penny. Aww. Oh, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just want their bullies to go away, but then they become the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have the right... They'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies, despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot, just creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. You really think so, huh? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Soul. Can I get your Eevee backpack? No? Okay. I really want that Eevee backpack. It looks cool. Alright, back in here... You know, this base really would not make um, much sense from a logistical standpoint. You have water running through your base here. I mean, sure, it's probably fresh mountain water, let's be honest here, but still, it does not make sense. You're asking for everybody to get sick here. You're just asking for sickness and disease to run rampant. Oh, this is a new cell? TM for energy ball. Who's the good puppies? Yes, you both are. Love my Fido, so fluffy and doughy. Everybody loves Fido. Random T-Star, remember. Everybody loves Fido. Alright, so that is the Fairy Team Starbase done and dusted. 
easy area, all things considered. I think I'm going to start encountering lower level things at this point. Um, I kind of want to try and loop around, see if there's any way I can reach this without being able to surf, but otherwise explore this whole um, Sokarat Trail zone and see what that all consists of. But man, I'm just imagining a full Paldean hide-and-seek. It would be a challenge, that much is certain. It would certainly be a challenge to try and find somebody if they really wanted to hide, but it could be interesting. As good a race. Heal my mons. Oh, really? Interesting. They've been so somebody, somebody's been listening in on my streams because my hide and seek idea was totally unique, one of a kind, and nobody had ever thought of anything like that before. So I can't believe they would steal such a unique, one of a kind idea from me. <laughs> that saddens me. That my completely original, unique, one-of-a-kind idea was stolen. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. Ah, I was hoping this would lead to, like, a secret underground tunnel system. But no, just a poison jab. Okay. Let's get rolling. Do I have Magnemite? I could have swore I do. Yep, I do. Well, was it a full map hide and seek, or was it just like, okay, you can hide in North Province Area 1 sort of hide and seek dealio? <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Something caught in my throat. Deer's. The deer is going to work on the Pokédex. Do it. Become the best deer trainer in the world. Oh, wait. You already are. But the question is, will will you be the one to replace Ash Ketchum next year? Will the deer prove to be better than the Pokémon Master Ash Ketchum? Or will a new protagonist rise? What are, Do you follow the anime at all, by the way? Actually, that is an excellent question that I don't think I've really asked. But do you also follow the Pokemon anime? And if so, what are your thoughts on the developments? Oh, hello, Belly Bolts. And Tad Bulbs. Hmm. There's so much that I need other methods to reach. Like, I there's got to be a rock climb method at some po some point. Some of these areas are pretty much impossible to reach otherwise. Yeah, that's a bit too far out for me to reach without being able to surf or fly. Shame. Oh, that's a cave entrance there. Can I sneaky sneak my way into there? I'm trying to catch up, but you already got the end and Ash getting our place spoiled for you. Yeah, it is. It's still very much worth watching. You know, I watched it and it was awesome, but... I mean, such big news, unfortunately, it was going to be spread everywhere, so I'm not terribly surprised. That, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people got spoiled on the um, that bit of news. Which sucks, because, you know, but, I mean, it's something. Ash Ketchum, 
who so many of us grew up with, will be going away. And that is... He's been a lot of people's childhood, so you know. Ash Ketchum has pretty much been there throughout my whole childhood. Hmm. Time zones. Time zones indeed. Uh, can I not get into fights here? These mons are a little bit beyond you, Oral. Back. They are but not beyond you enough. That I'm going to switch Surter back to the lead. These are actually higher level than I expected. Okay. Hair across we have. Uh oh, there's Tumby's evolved form. I could just catch a wild one, but you know, I think that would be cheating. Yeah, I think catching a wild, um, evolved Tumby would be cheating. I need to just evolve the Tumby I have. Fortress. I... If I could find a Pineco, that would be excellent. If there could be a Pineco in one of these trees, that would be awesome. Okaberry. Fortress... Or slack off, actually. What are you? Tatsugiri. It's a little yellow fish. Okay, I like this. I like this little fella. Uh, use my last quick, use my last quick ball. Sushi! You know what? That might just be its name. I might just name this Tatsugiri, I think, Sushi. It's a dragon! It's one of the most intelligent dragon Pokemon. It camouflages itself by inflating its throat sack. A water dragon. The stretchy form. Yeah, we'll, we'll nickname this little fella Sushi. Su. She. Eight different colors if you count the shinies. Good gracious. That's a lot. Uh, when this Pokemon enters the battle, it goes inside the mouth of an allied Dundozo if one is on the field. The Pokemon then issues commands from there. Interesting. It is a fairly powerful dragon type, too. It's definitely a special attacker. Okay. But it goes inside of an allied Dondozo. Huh? Interesting. I might have to give Tatsugiri here a fair shake when I get another badge. Because I don't think it will listen to me at this moment in time. Another Tatsugiri. Oh, hello. I don't know how to tell a shiny apart from the rest, though, is the only issue. That's the only issue here. I do not know what the difference between a shiny Tatsugiri and a not shiny Tatsugiri is. If they come in eight different forms, including shiny. Which tells me there's four different colorations. Okay, so that wasn't shiny. That wasn't shiny. Am I about to bully every Tatsugiri until I see a shiny? Maybe. There's another yellow one. Why 
Well, one of the shiny forms is white. Good information to have. Oh, wow, that's that would explain it. I'm not very effective. So, okay, so dragon makes you resistant to electric type moves. Um... I honestly... Tumby might be super effective against a water dragon. Thing is, Tumby is so much weaker. Yeah, Tumby is just too weak. Let's see how Tesla does. Tesla's able to handle it a little bit here, but... Only a little bit. Hmm. I bet if you did a dragon sandwich up here, you could pretty much guarantee Tatsugiri spawns, so... I can't imagine it'd be hard to farm a shiny, at least. Okay. On that note, put Oral back in the lead. And let's continue our exploration of this northwestern sector of Paldea. The Sakurat Trail of Kasaroya Lake. The lake that I cannot actually access because I don't have swimming. Or flight. Hello, don't mind me, Toad Scroll and Woods Cruel Line. How did I miss the terror raid? Oh, it was it was literally right behind me. Uh Steel Petalil. Interesting. If the Hisuian Petalil were in this, I might consider it, but sadly Hisuian Petalil is not present. Hello, Sudo Wudo. I'll let you live. Ah, oh, dearlings. Wakanberry. So this must be where all of the, um... Super effective damage reducing berries are. Charty Berry. Oh, hello. I don't think I've encountered green yet. Yeah, I don't think I've encountered a green seal yet, so. Let's see. There was purple by the spawn area. This one has a green. I don't remember the color that I pulled out back in the Glaciato Mountain, but I do think. I don't think it was green or purple. I wonder what is sealed behind all this. Ooh, a cracked pot. That'll be good for if I ever get a legitimate synesty. That is Florantis or Lorantis or whatever. It is an evolved mon, though. That looks. That does not look right, though. Okay, it, it, it looked like it could have been shiny, so. Honestly, I don't remember ever seeing the evolved form of Fermantis, so Lurantis there in the wild, so. Hence my caution there. Slacking. Syria so doesn't have seem to have much in the way of new mons, except for this. Fomentus. Um, it's nighttime, so a Dusk Ball might work. There we go. The mantis was fought was caught. Woo. If 
Fomantis, the sickle grass Pokemon. Many trainers give their Fomantis their own flower pots so they can sunbathe in peace and quiet. Aw, that's nice. So it's more of a plant than a bug. Okay. Um. What are. Oh, this is a. There's a dog here as well. Oh! Hey, it's a Mabostiff! Mastiff. Hello, doggo. Worry not, doggo. You will have a good home. And I know just what to name this dog. This dog will be named after a dog my uh, aunt had when I was younger. She was a... She was mean to a lot of people, but she wasn't really mean to me. Mastiff, the rascal Pokemon. Its well-developed jaw and fangs are strong enough to crunch through boulders, and its thick fat makes for excellent defense. So yeah, we'll name this after my aunt's dog that I got along with when I was younger. The dog was mean to everybody else, but not to me. Greta. Let's see your summary, Greta. Pure dark type. Intimidate for the ability. Increased speed, lower special attack is actually probably decent. Okay. Um, will not listen to me at this current point in time, so... I am fine with just boxing at the moment. Oh. Another one. I am going to be swarmed by these doggos, I think. If I'm not careful, but... Really quick. I need to sort out the box here. Oh, I guess I am somewhat sorted, so... Move these two... To box one for future training. Once I have more badges, at least. Avoid the Mabostiff. Okay. Slowking raid. Oof. Nice. I wish you luck on the slowest of kings. For I will likely be completely and utterly useless in a high level raid at the moment. Sorry, doggo. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to do another walk around before the start of the next stream so I can get Tumby here to evolve if it is a if she is a walking evolution which is annoying because last time was a very long walk as well so but if that's what it takes that is what it takes okay trainer around here but I don't think there's a Pokemon Center that will have a league rep so I'm fine with not battling. Oh. If I don't need to battle, I will not battle. Simple as that. Water pulse. This area is strange, you know, being up here, sort of isolated away from everything else, but... I mean, it is open world game, so maybe something is going to be put here eventually in the future, or, you know, this is just sort of a little bonus zone or something. Could be any number of things. 
Okay, definitely going to want to go down there at some point soon. Pasho Berry for water type. Mist Ball. Sea Bomb. Mm. Oh, I see the Wudo. Didn't mean to disturb you. Don't mind me. I'm just passing through. What is this raid up here? Have I have I checked this raid already? I don't think so. No. So we're exiting the more autumnal zone and heading to Casa Royal Lake proper. Charm. Uh, Basculine. More Tatsugiri. More Tatsugiri and Slowpokes. Oh, I Tatsugiri. You, you kind of I would say blend it in, but you don't really blend in at all. Poke it all. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to find anything interesting down here. So everything is so high level that newer mons are not as common just because, you know, everything's pretty much evolved for the most part. In fact, I'm actually going to check here. Um, it is the minus button for the decks. And so many volumes for 10 dive balls. Cool. So, Fuecoco, or the Sprigatito and the Quaxley line take up the front. Hop if we have one, Fletchling line, Houndour. Houndour we will encounter for too long. Same thing with Cricky Tot. Just checking to see if there's any lines that I don't have at the moment. Because right now it's, I mean, there is a couple. The slack off is going to be a pain because I'm going to have to find it in a tree. Rock rough, lichen rock, roly coly line, Luxley, Starly will be found eventually. Petalil. It'll eventually be found, it looks like, so I don't need to go and worry about doing a raid. Petalil is another eventual capture. Aerocuda. Aerocuda, I probably need Surf. Meowth and Persian. Drift Bloom, I haven't found. So there's a couple. But I seem to, like... I seem to have a majority of the baselines... As far as the lines of Pokemon go. So that's nice. Congrats. Did you capture the Slow King? Or did you just beat it down? To teach it a lesson. Of who the true ruler of all of them is. Who are them? I don't know. I kind of started going somewhere with that and then I lost my track. Ah, going for the deck entry. Understandable. Completely understandable. Fire Blast. You heard the rumors of how I'm not going to battle randos if I don't have to. Ooh, big nugget. Uh, 
anything special down here. Oh! Just a bunch of slow pokes and a slow bro that I landed on top of. I'm sorry, all you slow bros and slow pokes. I did not mean to just try and crush you under my hand, under your heel. I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, that's Veluza. You're new. Interesting looking Mon. Dusk Ball Goo. Psycho Cut, huh? Interesting. Uh, let's not let Oral knock out. Go to Tesla. So it's Psychic type. You seem to not like this fish, Velvet. May I ask why? I think I can afford a week. I think I can afford to lower its health a bit. Switch again. Logi. Ah, it's a common surfing Pokemon. Okay, that's good to know. Just in case I accidentally KO this one. Like I just did. Fillet! No, 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 no. I, I did not kill that Veluza. I did not. I did not. It did. It, I misread things. It did not say fillet there. I. It. It. No. 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 I. <sighs> Vaguely. I did not kill that Veluza. I swear. It, it didn't drop a fillet. It. it I misread it, okay? Th that's what it was. I, I simply misread whatever it said that it dropped. That's all. It did not drop a fillet. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, I it, it it I did not fillet that fish. I swear. Where is it? Leaf. Okay, the leaf is fine. Yeah, look, Arrowcuda gives me its scales, so I, I'm I must have just I must have just misread. SQ down, ten of dust. Lay. <gasps> Peels off its own flesh for mech. Wait. So so velvet. What you're saying is. Is that this is the magical fish that will regrow its flesh? That means that I I don't need to completely abstain from eating. Oh god, it just filleted itself! It's part of its idle animation! Oh, that was disturbing to see. Very briefly. Ow. So, cloth's claws also fall off naturally and grow back. Okay, so I wasn't sure about the cloth thing. That's good to know, though. Veluza. Veluza has excellent regenerative capabilities. It sheds its spare fresh from its body to boost its agility, then charges at its prey. I 
can eat, I can use fillets in the sandwiches now. <laughs> now that I know that Veluza actually sheds its flesh, that means that it's not a monster. I'm not a monster for eating fillets of fish in the Pokemon world. <laughs> as long as it's Veluza, at least. So long as it's Veluza flesh, I'll be fine. Gotta make note. Veluza flesh is fine to consume. What are we gonna name this, though? Um. Hmm. Nightmare fish. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What do I wanna name this thing? I wanna go with. I don't wanna go with something as simple as fillet, because that'd be a little lame. Hmm. What to name, what to name. Not filet. Hmm. Well, it likes to jettison itself around. What's something... What is it? Um... Is it a rip current? I'm trying to think. A rip current is a fast... Moving underwater current, right? So a rip current is a type of water that makes near beaches breaking weight with breaking waves. Um it's a strong, narrow current of water which moves directly away from shore. And cuts lines. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll go with that. Rip current. <laughs> Imagine you're buying your own business and then you just see this fish tear off its own flesh to rock it. To kick your butt at mock speed. That'd be metal. Let's be honest. That would be metal AF. Alright, let's see rip current summary here. Mold breaker. Final gambit. Okay. It actually has an excellent nature here. With an attack's nature. Go to my box for now. Rip current could also be one we give a shot here. Eventually, but... Uh, heal you up. So yeah, Sushi, Greta, and Rip Current have potential. Can I check your moves here? User faints but infl inflicts damage equal to its own HP. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not really sure how Water Psychic is as far as typing matchups goes, but it seems like a fairly interesting mon. Oh! The Gracia Stones, one of the ten sites of Paldea. So there's probably something out on those stones. Whoa! Hey, hell, shit. Gets in the way of trying to catch water Pokemon often. It'll probably get annoying, I'm sure, eventually, but right now I'm just happy to have it. Oh. Hi, Hallucha. Oh, sorry. Lodgy, you're fully tr You're pretty much good, Lodgy, so. Oral is the one that needs to be in the front of the line. There we go. Even if she isn't going to be fighting literally anything out here because she will just be destroyed. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep exploring this northern edge of Paldea. I feel assured now that I have found a protein in the Pokemon world I can consume without having a guilty conscience. And in fact, I think actually being able to eat use fillets will work out excellently because I want to say that's part of a lot of the um, tier 2 lure recipes fillets are. So, oh, hello, big fish. Don Dozo. Oh, this is the guy that is um, in Tatsugiri's deck entry.
order up. Ow. Um. Logi. Okay, that's not too hard hitting. Go for the bite. Ooh, somebody's tanky. Wild charge. There's a hit. Making it rain. This Dondozo is n not too smart. Oh, does, does this... Does Dondozo have the little, like, sushi headband on top of its head? It looks like it does. Hang on, hang on. Logi wants to learn agility. No, thank you. Dondozo, the big catfish Pokemon... It treats Tatsugiri like its boss and follows it loyally. Though powerful, Dondozo is apparently not very smart. It does have a little sushi headband on. Okay, you're, you're being named Chef. Big guy. This is Chef. Let's see Chef's summary here. Pure water. Pone speed minus attack nature. Order up is a dragon type move. Interesting. Okay. Welcome to the squad, Chef. Again, you'll get your chance to shine here. Um. Now. Once I'm higher leveled. Order up is because the sushi fish is a dragon. Okay, okay. Makes sense if it considers that Tatsugiri its boss, you know. Having a dragon type move does make a lot of sense. Okay. I kind of want to see how Tatsugiri's ability works there. It had it like... Oh. That Vaporeon is not becoming one with the right thing. Vaporeon, you're a water type, not a rock type. Become one with the water, not with the rock. Silly Vaporeon. Must have been confused there. Another Tetsugiri. Thunderstone. So, I've seen yellow, orange, and red Tatsugiri, I believe. Wonder what that fourth color is. Okay. Let's just keep exploring. We're almost pretty much done with our explorations of northern Paldea here. Whee! At which point, we will probably be calling the stream an Alpha Vaporeon. And by Alpha, I mean Terra Vaporeon. So Terra Sylveon, Terra Vaporeon. Interesting that all... I'm betting... I wonder if all of the evolutions have a Terra form. I feel like I've seen a Terra Glaceon as well. So it would not surprise me if that was the case. If it's just so... If people can't be... <laughs> Dondozo, I I think you're uh, think you're a little bit big for that pond there, man. Think you might be a little bit big for that there pond. <coughs> Excuse me.
The pond was made for it. And if you say so, you probably know more about Don Dozos than I do, since you are a more experienced trainer than I, so I will take your word for it, Velvet. I just hope that Vaporeon understands it needs to share. You know. It, it might think it's, you know, the leader of that pond. But to 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 Hey there, Soul. Sumer has the false dragon titan lurks somewhere in this lake, yeah? But not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. it. Must be a truly kind terrifying beast. But how are we supposed to search for the thing when we don't even know what it looks like? Sure would be hit if we just ran around crying hide the Titan or something if only, right? If only. If only I could actually, you know, attempt to find it, too. That would be nice, but... I lack swimming capabilities, so... It hurts me to skip a step, but I cannot go after the False Dragon Titan. <laughs> and that hurts me in ways you don't know, Arvin. It hurts me deep. Right there in my soul. Deep in my soul. What was that sound? Oh, I, I could have just... I totally knew this other path was right here. I, I totally knew. Okay, let's see. Do I have the jumping power? Oh, so close. I think I can make it. That jump seems doable. Skyrim! Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Take it at an angle! <clears throat> I feel like I can make it. I'm getting close. I'm getting, like, really close. Maybe I need to collide with the Pokemon. Golduck. Ah, oh, so close. If I collide with the Golduck, it'll totally draw me into a battle. Ah. Oh. It, this has got to work, right? There's no way they would put this gap here if it was insurmountable. Scyther, now is not the time for your nonsense. I'm trying to cross a river, Scyther. Oh, come on. I collided with the Don Dozo there. Why did I not get into a fight? Why did that Don Dozo not fight me? Why is the Scyther obsessed with me? Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this jump, sadly. Rip my dreams of making it over to this final little island here on the chain. Okay, um, I guess that this part of Glaciato Mountain, and then we just start cutting down until we're around there. So yeah, that will mean that this normal gym will likely be the next one. So we'll loop down here, then they'll do the normal gym probably. And then we'll loop around to this Port Marinata. And then head to the Water Gym here. It looks like. and Or no, we'll go to Port Marinata, then do the Asado Desert here. Where we have the Ground Titan. Okay. So our future plans are set. For now, let's spend this last 10 minutes exploring. You got some Herba Mystica? Nice. Very nice. I'm back on the mountain. I'm back on the cold, unforgiving mountain top. I want off this mountain. 
Glaciado Gasp, one of the ten sites of Paldea. I'm free of the mountain. The cold will not bother me anyway. And I'm actually up against some Pokemon that are possible to take down by Oral. West Province Area 3. Curious real quick. Nope. Staying off the mountain. And in fact, I'm so staying off the mountain, I'm so ready to stay off of it. I'm switching back to summer. That doggo was headbanging. The Academy has a secret. If you can defeat me, I'll tell you the Academy's big secret. Sure, dude. Whatever you think you might know. Vidal. Or Vidal. I was about to say the world has a secret, but... Try Dragonfall. Hmm. Don't care for that confusion, status effect you just inflicted on me, Toxicroak. Don't care for it at all. In fact. Lots, sir. We'll manually switch. Because we're in set mode, after all. We're in set mode. Finish it, Tumby. Good job, Tumby. Good job. Alright, Vidal, tell me what secret you know of the Academy. I lost them, I guess I have no choice but to spill the beans. Indeed. Now spill them beans. The Academy is some kind of big brouhaha when I was first enrolled. All the teachers at the time quit. The teachers we've got now were all hired after that. That's not a secret! I literally just learned about that! Well, Vidal, you are so out of the loop. Like, seriously? So out of the loop he is? He doesn't even know that, like, it's because of Team Star? Like, OMG. Bigger off. And Fletchling. Of course I couldn't get away. And of course I'd be attacked by a little doggo. I don't want to fight you guys right now. And of course I'm about to be drawn into another fight! Tic-tac-toe, three in a row. Please, let me leave, you guys. I don't want to fight you right now. Oh, we got another trainer. Backpacker's... My backpacker's only weakness. 
Backpacker's only weakness is Steel-type moves. So you say. Oral's got this. <clears throat> it's already a sunny day outside. Why would you want to make it even sunnier? You know, I'm really surprised there is not a move based on the moon as well. Farigaraf. We'll keep us in because we're in set mode, but here we go. First looks at Farigaraf. It's glorious. There's still no item power fairy type moves either. That's kind of lame. Fairy type Pokemon deserve attention too. Even if they are some of the most terrifying Pokemon in existence. Even things that are terrifying deserve some love and affection. Right? You know? Just because Gardevoir will tear open space and time and create a black hole to protect you, or Hatterene will strangle you to death if you show any kind of joy, or Tinkaton will literally destroy Corviknight out of the sky to build their hammers. Just because fairy types are terrifying doesn't mean they don't deserve some goodness in their lives. Ooh, Tropius. Now we'll try a bite. You have a Japanese Zero? Nice. The Masuda method is opened up to you, Velvet. You have full Masuda power. What will you do with your power over the Masuda? Will you use your power for good and justice? Or... We'll use it for evil. All your chirpies since Gen 3 have been named Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. It's a nice name. Sadly, this Tropius will not be getting named because it is not a Paldean Mon. Tropius, the fruit Pokemon. Delicious fruits grew out from the rounded snack because it always ate the same kind of fruit. So that's the lore of the fruit beard of Tropius. Interesting bit of lore there. Tropius's fruit beard is made out of the fruits it likes. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Got TM. Body slam. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Okay. Almost about time to be ending this stream, sadly. Which is a shame, because I've been having fun with Pokemon, as I always do, but, you know, never hurts to have fun. Like Banana, so much it became Banana. They, There is the saying, you are what you eat. Now, I think this will be the last trainer we fight, and then we're going to probably call today's stream. Hey, you talked to me. Thanks. Now let's battle. Sure thing, Hiker Estella. Sure thing. Uh, Ice Fang should work. Good, good, good.
that wasn't too bad. Yes, I am bold. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Is it because... If, is talking to a random stranger bold? In which case, I did not have any idea. Just imagine what she'll do when she finds out that people talk to strangers all the time. Uh, I have no idea how I trigger this Fletchinder fight, but I will run away. And with that run away, I'm going to start my sign off here because I've been going for a couple hours. So, I think it is an excellent time here to cut today's stream off. Um, I will be doing a stream earlier in the day tomorrow, whereupon I will finish up the FGO waifu ranking list. I still have yet to find a good family tree builder, so that is something I have to work on yet. But uh, yeah, we'll finish off the FGO family or the FGO waifu rankings tomorrow, um, and maybe even do some rank of quests since there really is not that many waifus left to rank in FGO. I am nearly done with all the currently released waifus, so I look forward to finishing off that, possibly doing some rank up quests, and, you know, going from there. Um, still not sure what I'm going to roll on the GSSR coming up here either, but that will definitely be a special New Year stream, but um, Friday will probably be the next time we come back for Pokemon, and it likely will be a longer stream like I had been doing. Uh, I just had a very late stream art to today which is why it was a later tonight stream rather than the standard early pokemon ones but that is all future talk for the present i have been soul rack dragon i do hope that you have enjoyed today's stream if you have be sure to leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit if you want to check out more by me be sure to check out my channel here on twitch or youtube same name same games there is plenty of content for you to enjoy. But once again, I thank you all so much for coming out, Rain Picnicker Dude. I do hope that you enjoyed. Look at that swimming slowpoke. And have a fantastic evening. Everybody. There we go. Sword Stance. Next up, TM to end things off with. Bye bye!